The speed of sound through the air near sea level is linearly related to the temperature of the air. If sound travels at 741 miles per hour at 32 degrees Fahrenheit and at 771 miles per hour at 72 degrees Fahrenheit, find a linear model relating the speed of sound s and the air temperature t. We'll use a point slope form of a of a line of an equation of a line to find the equation here. And that point slope form of of the equation is y minus y sub 1 equals the slope m times x minus x sub 1. So you can always get the equation of a line if you have two things. If you have a point, and that point would be x sub 1, y sub 1 in this, in this formula, or in this form of the equation, and the slope. And you want the slope m. Well, we have two points, so we'll just use one of those points, and we can find the slope. First of all, I'm going to rewrite this in terms of s and t, because that's, that's what we're using here. So uh, s is our dependent variable, and t is our independent variable. That is, I'm assuming that the speed of sound, it makes sense that the speed of sound is dependent on the temperature and not the other way around. The temperature doesn't get warmer when the speed of sound is faster. So I'm going to write s minus s sub 1 equals the slope times t minus t sub 1. And then we'll come back and, and plug some stuff into that. But first, let's find the slope. The slope m. Uh, let me change a color here. The slope m. That equals well, it's the change in y over the change in x, or that is the change in s over the change in t. So s sub 2 minus s sub 1 over t sub 2 minus t sub 1. And just to be clear here, I'm, I've got this s sub 1, t sub 1 here in our x and y. So for our example, our two S's, our speeds of sound, are 771, that's our S2, and 741, we'll make that S sub 1. So I've got 771 minus 741, all over the T sub 2, that's 72 degrees, minus T sub 1, that's 31 de 32 degrees, so that equals uh, 30 over 40. Or we're talking about speed of sound, so let's put it in a decimal, 0 0.75. Three-fourths or 0.75. I know a lot of times we like to see slope when we're graphing as a fraction, 3 over 4, but uh, we'll, we'll use a decimal for the speed of sound formula. Okay, now let's take this, what's in orange, and plug it in. Plug, plug in what we know. So we have S sub 1 of 741 and T sub 1 of 32 degrees. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this right in. S minus 741 equals 0.75 times T minus 32. Now we could say we're done. We have a linear model, but we want to make it s equals. s equals some function of t. So let's go ahead and, um, and solve for s. So I'll distribute the 0.75 here and add 741. So in just a couple steps we'll be there. s minus 741 equals 0.75 t minus 24, that's 0 0.75 times 32, add 741 to each side, and s equals 0 0.75t plus 
717. And I'm going to put here miles per hour. All right, just a, a few comments about that. We, we have this, uh, we, we finished the problem, but let's talk about what this means here. So if the temperature T in Fahrenheit is zero degrees, we would expect the speed of sound to be 717 miles per hour, right? If T is zero, then this term goes to zero and we have 717 left. If the temperature T is 100 miles per hour, we would expect uh, us to add 75 miles per hour to the base of 717. So if the temperature is 100 degrees, did I say 100 miles per hour? If the, if the temperature is 100 degrees Fahrenheit, we would uh, say 100 times 7 0.75, so 75 miles an hour faster than at uh, 0 degrees Fahrenheit. Or another way to think of this is looking at the slope. For every one degree increase in Fahrenheit, you get a speed of sound increase of 0.75 miles per hour. So just a few things uh, to note when you're looking at this equation, this linear model relating the speed of sound to the air temperature.